Right now, until technology serves up a solution or something entirely unexpected happens to our species, we're all mortal. For every single one of us, our days on Earth are numbered. But of course, many believe that this earthly life isn't all there is, that there's something else waiting for us whenever this is all over. But have we finally found evidence of that as well? This is Unveiled, and today we're answering the extraordinary question, does this prove that there's life after death? Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one, and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. Heaven, Hell, the Underworld, the Afterlife. Cultural depictions of a time after the time we're alive right now are many. And in fact, there's some argument that a variation of life after death is the key ingredient to any major religion. It needs to convince its followers that it can provide an answer to the unanswerable, what happens when we die. In more recent times, however, the afterlife isn't only the domain of theology and faith. Science has become increasingly interested in it too, with countless studies and theories making headlines. In just the last decade or so, we've seen news that dying brains have been meticulously scanned, with researchers looking for signs of a post-life something. There are also countless recollections of near-death experiences, many of which are reportedly very similar, with white lights, tunnel vision, and a life review. However, the cases that have really turned heads are those that have been clinically tested and verified. And the AWARE study, or Awareness During Resuscitation, is perhaps the most comprehensive of all. Published in 2014 in the journal Resuscitation, it refers back to a large-scale four-year initiative started in 2008, involving 2,060 patients in hospitals in the United Kingdom, the USA, and Austria. All patients were cardiac arrest survivors, having gone without a heartbeat for varying lengths of time. Once brought back to the living, the patients were extensively interviewed, and the findings still rank as some of the most perplexing and intriguing in medical science in recent years. 46% of those interviewed were able to report memories that researchers then categorized under seven different themes. Memories of fear, of animals and plants, of violence and persecution, of bright light, of deja vu, memories of their family, and finally, of events happening after their cardiac arrest. Around 2% of those interviewed, upwards of 30 people, reported a visceral awareness of their own resuscitation, too. They could remember the physicians working over them, trying to get their heart to restart, even after it had stopped. In most cases, these memories will have formed in up to a three-minute time window after the initial loss of heartbeat. But the brain is known to cease functioning after only 30 seconds or so without the heart. There was then up to two and a half minutes in some cases where the patient could have been deemed technically dead. Thankfully, they were brought back, but in the meantime, they had managed to create memories from somewhere. In some cases, all physical signs of consciousness had disappeared, but clearly something was still happening. In the context of the AWARE study, it was deemed that this kind of experience might then contribute to feelings of post-traumatic stress disorder after suffering a heart attack. There are then some wider suggestions that even if you have a heart attack and you can't recall anything about the minutes that followed, Whatever did happen might still go some way to affect your mental health in the future. However, more broadly still, what could the study be showing us about the concept of an afterlife in general? Here, it would appear that conscious experience actually is being created after the heart has stopped beating, and potentially after the cognitive signs of consciousness have faded out. One implication, then, is that it might be possible to miss consciousness in a person believed to be dead. Move one step further down that road, and might it be possible for that level of consciousness to just continue and continue indefinitely undetected? And isn't that really what the afterlife would be? Elsewhere, and around the same time as the AWARE study was made public, reports emerged of a similar effort conducted in Berlin, Germany. Although details are today scarce, it's alleged that more than 900 people were made technically dead under medical supervision for 20 minutes at a time. During that massive window, it's said that those people formed memories, mostly of out-of-body experiences, that they could then report back to researchers upon their being brought back to life. Importantly, this study doesn't appear in any verified journals. But ultimately, if the reports are correct, then it would serve as simply an elongation of the results published by AWARE. Again, it would seem that the end actually isn't the end in some cases. In 2019, further work was completed to calculate the likelihood that any one person would experience a near-death experience. In an international study based out of Denmark, Norway, and again Germany, it was found that around 1 in 10 people have them. 
More than 1,000 people were featured in the study, all with a variety of individual circumstances surrounding their NDE. However, perhaps the most disturbing takeaway here was that almost three-quarters of those studied said that their NDE had been unpleasant. While the more archetypal white light and warm fuzzy feelings may have seeped into our collective consciousness, it would seem that actually this isn't what we should expect. In all of the studies mentioned in this video, the outer body experience, or OBE, was a prominent feature. Some of AWARE's heart attack survivors reported viewing themselves from above. It said that some of those in the Berlin study were left feeling as though they had levitated, and OBEs were regularly cited in the 2019 survey, too. As yet, science doesn't really have an answer for this particular aspect of death. It doesn't seem to happen universally, but it is one of the more common traits whenever anyone has clinically died, is fortunately brought back, and has the memories stored of what they saw and felt. What's your verdict on this issue? Let us know in the comments. Is it perhaps telling that despite the potentially profound implications that this research could have, it still isn't especially spoken about in the mainstream? No doubt there is a taboo surrounding death. Despite its inevitability, not everyone is overly keen to talk or think about it. But still, on this morbid but bleeding edge of science and technology, there are those seeking answers, verifiable evidence that there's something else after we die. For those behind the AWARE study in particular, their results might be especially important because they come from those who have been brought back after a cardiac arrest. While definitions of the moment of death do differ from country to country, culture to culture, whenever the heart stops beating, we always know that the person is in serious trouble. Within seconds, their brain will become starved of oxygen, and while the rest of their body will fight, it will fail within just a few short moments. It would appear that the same can't be said for consciousness, however. It would seem as though that might continue even if science is of yet unable to explain how. In the AWARE study, more than 2,000 people suffered the unfortunate experience of a heart attack, but almost half of them also tapped into some kind of energy even when they were technically passed. Of course, this takes us back to those various ancient claims of many religions. It's just that from a religious point of view, you usually needn't have evidence that an afterlife exists. You just need the faith that it's real. Science doesn't work the same way but it does accept that there are things that we don't know. For now, the afterlife remains, to a certain extent, one of those things. And by definition, you can't know unless you're dead, and you can't reveal what you know if you are dead. It's an impossible situation. Nevertheless, work is ongoing, and the studies are bearing fruit. Bizarrely, they rarely receive the global coverage that you might expect. But there is something of a modern revolution going on when it comes to this particular unknowable field a favorite space for science fiction writers for years, it's now beginning to be a major point of interest for academics, too. And that's why we might already have proof that there is life after death. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.